And we're going to start off with your road tracker for this morning. A couple areas of concern if you're driving US 20 between Ashton and West Yellowstone all along that route. Slushy conditions and some light snow falling too. I-15 income to Virginia snow on the road. Be careful driving. Here's a look outside right now. Malad Summit. You can just barely make out the road there in about the next uh, 90 minutes. We'll get a better view of that. So wind tracker right now. Very light wind conditions in through parts of the upper valley. Calm through Driggs. Jackson right now at about 13 miles per hour, so you got a bit of a wind chill factor there. Nine miles per hour through Pocatello, eight mile per hour winds in through the Arco Desert. So 32 degrees right now, right at the freezing mark, cloudy skies. That's going to knock you down about 24 when you factor in that nine mile per hour wind. 29 degrees and cloudy skies in through Idaho Falls. Not too bad. Winds very light and 16 degrees with some light snow falling in through Jackson. And that uh, wind is going to knock you down to two degrees above zero. So temperature tracker around the region. You can see INL 26 degrees, Ashton 23, Jackson at 16, Alpine at 25, Pocatello right now 32. Same for American Falls, 32 degrees. Zooming out, you can see Stanley in the teens, Haley about 28 degrees, and Driggs 10, Yellowstone 12, Island Park at 20 degrees to start off your Tuesday. Storm tracker radar seeing some very light rain snow mix in through the Arco Desert, pushing its way south. Also across I 86, we're seeing some light snowfall in through there. So, you know, be careful driving. As we zoom out, we can see much of the Pacific Northwest begins to clear out, just leaving us with cloudy conditions for much of the day once we get through these light snow showers this morning. So here's a look at what's going to happen tomorrow. Our regional high temperatures, we're expecting cloudy conditions. Daytime highs, yeah, still a little bit below average for where we should be for this uh, for this time of year that we'd like to call spring. Hopefully we'll see some springtime here pretty soon. I know the irises are starting to come up and the tulips are starting to come up and they're really confused right now. 46 tomorrow for Idaho Falls, 46 Pocatello Twin, 48 degrees. So for today, we expect some light snow up until about noon and then cloudy skies for the rest of the day. Our daytime highs in the 30s through St. Anthony, 40s for the rest of the region as we take a look at what's going on into the Teton Valley, Wyoming and Idaho. Mostly cloudy skies, snow a little bit later. Island Park 35, Jackson 34, Afton right at the freezing mark for the high today. Then partly cloudy skies in through the Central Mountains. Daytime highs in the 30s for Ledor, Mackey, 40s for Chalice and Salmon. Then overnight tonight more clouds that'll insulate us a little bit but still cold temperatures tonight single digits for Stanley teens for Ledor and Mackey 20 for Chalice Salmon and Arco and in through the Teton Valley some clouds in through the region looking for single digit lows for Jackson and Yellowstone teens for parts of Island Park and Driggs. Then for the Snake River Plain, clear skies and cold temperatures tonight. We are expecting lows in the 20s and a little bit of a breeze, so those 20s won't hold out for very long. Now let's take a look at your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast with breezy conditions continuing on into Thursday. We're talking anywhere from 10 to 20 mile per hour winds and a chance of rain snow mix, but we're not going to look at that. We're going to look at the weekend. Yeah, take a look at Saturday. Ooh, sunshine for Blackfoot 57 the high on Saturday, 62 the high on Sunday. Sunday. And for Idaho Falls, a chance of rain snow mix taking us into midweek and then a chance of some sunshine and nice temperatures by the weekend. Deanne?